Hey, water signs. How you guys doing? <clears throat> Welcome in. This is December 21st. We are at the winter solstice, right? Oh my God. The longest night of the year. The big sleep. The, uh, the time to uh, hibernate a little bit. So a couple of announcements before we get going. Um, we are doing another uh, spiritual business class in January, expanded version. I have a professional writer who is going to teach you about writing ads and writing marketing copy. Uh, if you have a spiritual gift that you want to turn into a business, I'm going to teach you more about video and YouTube too. So the link is below. Also, we're going to be doing a really important workshop that you all have been asking for about navigating your spiritual journey and the stages of that and how do you do that more successfully or better for yourself. That's in January too. So links below. Thank you for your lovely comments about Juliet Gildon's art on the uh, Zodiac um, uh, readings that uh, her artwork is on my website as well, soulfulrevolutiontv.com. So check her out. She is awesome. If you want to purchase any of the prints, they're there. So let's see what's going on for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to look at the signs that show up in this reading in the extended. So whoever shows up, we're looking at them, okay? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Feel free to swap around the characters, and I could be talking to a cross-watcher, so just FYI on that, okay? Let's see what's going on for you. Okay, let's see what's going on for you. Ah, deep knowing. Hi, Priestess. A deep knowing. By the book to the sea. So you're fine with how this is going. I feel like um, things may be moving slowly or, but they're moving, they're moving, first of all. And second of all, they're really going, um, what right now needs to happen as detail, like what uh, the details of what needs to happen right now are a little unclear. Is it, um, cause I feel like I'm seeing you going in a little bit of two different directions with this person. They have an idea about how it goes and you have a different idea about how it goes, but you both have a deep knowing that this is going to be about you being together. All right. You could, for some of you, you could also be leaving someone behind that you have a deep knowing that it's just over. Okay. So some of you are that no matter what, you're following your inner path. So whether it's moving on from somebody, going toward love, going toward something better in your life, or it's you're meeting up with somebody and you're just trying to figure out logistics and things like that, just know that you're going toward something. Follow your deep knowing. Follow that deep knowing. All right, my darlings. Yes, check this out. Uh, and I see this, okay? So you're going, um, going towards commitment, that is by the book. This is a traditional relationship. You're taking traditional steps with this relationship. All right. Lovers, Gemini energy, three of swords, eight of pentacles, two of pentacles, fool, emperor. Very traditional, even though this is opposing energy. Okay. You could be confused about like, do I, <clears throat> do I take a leap of faith? Do I jump in with this person or do I do it by the book? Do I follow my feelings or do I follow tradition in some way? Okay. Um, this person could be uh, someone you work with, emperor, empress, life partner, Virgo energy here too. Star. Wow. Okay. I did see the Virgo energy underneath here. So we're going to take that. So you could be, I will, I will look at Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Aquarius. More Taurus and more Libra here. It's about the balancing of, right, Two of Pentacles here. It's about the balancing of your work and your life. This person is going to play a role in both your work life and your home life. Okay? This person could be a Gemini um, and they might have just been through something, just been through um, a breakup of some kind. 
you could have also been going through a breakup and so they're just really focused on taking care of what they need to take care of, doing the work that's in front of them. They're very by the book. This person is likely a Capricorn Taurus Virgo or have some energy around that very traditional person. You here are, you know, sort of juggling a lot. You've got a lot of things going on. You could be unclear as to how to move forward with this person. They're not really giving you a lot of, of um, detail on what they want but you're really wanting to move forward. Aries energy, very Mars, Mars, like I want to jump in. I want to do this. I want to move forward. And this person is not resisting. They're not resisting, but they're just like, maybe they're just not ready for it right now. So they're not giving you a lot of information about what they want to do. Not giving a lot of information about what they want to do. I think they are confused. Yes. Uh-huh. Very resistant right now. This person is very resistant. They're afraid of being manipulated. Um, if you have this energy, this Aries energy, that is not going to work very well with this person. Okay, they're going to feel like you're pushing them. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to float. <laughs> you're going to need to stop that. You're going to need to float instead and you're going to need to go by the book. So both of these things are true. Okay, because this person is resisting they might not even know their feelings. They might have had, their secret is they might have been abused in the past by somebody who was narcissistic. And if you push too hard, if you try to take, you know, give them direction too much about what you want, where you're going, it's going to backfire a little bit. So you might just want to be the fool and just like go with the flow. Okay, go with the flow. Because what's happening is Empress energy, very balanced, very grounded the Virgo energy of um, seeking guidance, seeking wisdom from your heart, heart chakra, and then following that, okay, in a very um, kind of open way, very transparent, very um, non-pushy. You're going to need to dial back the emperor energy here, even if you have a deep knowing that this is the person you're going to be with. They're not ready to hear that. They're not ready to hear it yet. They're not ready to act on it yet. They're just not, okay? They're just not ready. Um, so dial back this. Take it one step at a time. Yes. Dial that back. Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Three of Wands. So instead of being like, hey, you know what? You're my partner. This person isn't ready to hear that. So you might just want to... Um, uh, do something very light. Okay, page of wands, three of wands. You have expectations of a new beginning with them, very passionate new beginning. But I think this is more playful energy that needs to happen instead of the emperor. Playful, light, fun, not pushy. They're, they're very sensitive to being pushed, okay? Um... Even though you are going toward commitment with this person, you're going to have to take it one step at a time. Buy the book. Okay? And the reason for the buy the book and stuff, even though you know they're a little squeamish about relationships, they're not, they're not ready, they're focusing on their work or something like that. So that you may not be getting as much attention from this person as you want. And that might be bothering you. And so your tendency is to push or reach out a lot and all that kind of stuff. And I'm suggesting to you that maybe what you want to do is, is lighten up a little bit. Have some fun. You know, go down the friendship road for a little bit. Do something a little bit more fun and joyful and light. I feel like you'll be a guide for this person. This is a life partner. Um, they've just, let's see, fool. Let me look at this. Yeah, it may take a full year. A pentacle is a year. It may take a full year, a year to two years for this to really be fully a romantic relationship. It's just going to take the time it takes. Okay, it could be within the new year, right? Within the new, the new year, 2020. But you're going to have to be, the buy the book thing is real. 
it's definitely real. You can't, um, there's no shortcuts here. All right, but I do feel like you're going to get there. So let's look at Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Aquarius, Virgo. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, we'll look at those in the extended. I'm going to look at blocks to love, actions to take, and we'll see where we go with this. We'll get more advice for you. Okay, so if you want to continue with me, the link is below. Otherwise, happy winter solstice.